I, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are a regular viewer of this channel, you will know that Windows Update is not without its issues. And issues can arise preventing updates from installing. And in regards to this, Microsoft has posted a handy support article on how to troubleshoot problems updating Windows which is a guide that provides detailed steps to troubleshoot and resolve Windows update problems effectively. So I thought I'd just make you aware of this because it can become a handy resource you can bookmark and refer back to for future reference if and when you run into a Windows update problem. Troubleshoot problems updating Windows. Now first of all we have a section for Windows 11 and a section for Windows 10 which are quite similar. And yeah, you can see they say the first thing is run the Windows Update Troubleshooter and it shows you how to do that if you click on the relevant link. Then they also make an important announcement about backing up your personal files before trying any of these methods. And then yeah, are some general troubleshooting steps to help solve the Windows Update problem. Ranging from the up, using the update troubleshooter right through to restart to apply installed updates. Now most common Windows update problems generate error codes and if you've ever wondered what certain error codes are and what they mean, yeah, here's a whole list. So as mentioned, I'll leave this article posted and linked in the description. And this may be a handy resource as mentioned if you do run into future Windows update problems. And we also get some advanced troubleshooting steps like renaming the software distribution folders and and temporarily removing third-party security software or repairing hard drive errors and they give you um, the relevant steps if you just click on that drop down menu and i think this is handy i'm definitely going to bookmark this and i've also posted one or two videos on how you can try and fix Windows update and problems on the channel. I'll leave one or two of those linked in the description and in the end screen if you would be interested. So with those videos and in conjunction with this post by Microsoft, that may end up being a handy resource. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.